sorghum. Sorghum is perhaps the world's most versatile crop. After harvest, sorghum is put into various uses. Some types are boiled like rice, some cracked like oats for porridge, some malted like barley for beer, some baked like wheat into flatbreads, and some popped like popcorn for snacks. But for local farmers in Kenya, it's a source of one of their staple food. Sorghum is recorded to be the dietary staple of more than 500 million people in more than 30 countries and is Africa's second most important cereal. About a third of the world's sorghum production is in Africa. In the heart of eastern Kenya, a remarkable scientist and crop breeder named Molly Atieno is making a difference in the lives of smallholder farmers. Molly, a PhD student at Makerere University in Uganda, is also a One Planet Laureate candidate and a mentor. Currently, I'm working on sorghum, finger millet, palm millet, pigeon pea, and to some extent groundnuts. So these crops, the three dryland cereals that is the soga, finger millet and the pearl millet, these are climate resilient crops which Simit is really taking up as part of the climate change initiative to see that farmers, apart from just growing the normal maize that they are used to, they are crops that they can incorporate in their farming systems and they can get a harvest at the end of the day. Pearl millet is also a, a multi-purpose crop, you can use it for forage, you can use it as a grain and it can really give the farmers value for their money as compared to maize which is just a single purpose crop for most of their daily uses. The One Planet Fellowship is a flagship initiative of African Women in Agricultural Research and Development Award which aims to build a robust pipeline of scientists equipped to lead climate change research in Africa. What breeders do is to alter the plant genetic makeup to come up with new population. So on a daily basis we do something called bagging. So the purpose of bagging is to ensure that it is not pollinated by bees or wind pollination that can make the, the seed to be polluted. We are also try to, trying to develop crops that are resistant to fall armyworm to develop the pest resistant ones so that the farmer does not incur a lot of costs in buying pesticides. Well, Molly's dedication to her work goes beyond the laboratory. Inspired by her mentor, Dr. Damaris Odeni, Molly has become a mentor herself, guiding four upcoming European scientists and one Kenyan scientist. The One Planet Fellowship is really interesting. They give you the hands-on experience. So we are taught about mentoring. Now I've gotten the skills now to also mentor junior research scientists and in my team I have these four European students who come from the Netherlands, Italy and Germany. I also have an African mentee and so they came to the field where I am working to actually see how climate change is really affecting people down at the levels. Molly is my mentor. She has helped us in understanding how we can phrase the problem for it to be the most impactful and also guiding us. She's really good with showing us what she knows. She's giving us the floor to share our ideas and I think what I learned is that it's a really powerful thing to share your knowledge and I think this is something that I would like to do as well. I was looking forward for that journey of mentorship, a formal structure of mentorship. She would mention about trainings they have done with award, like trainings on negotiations. So just seeing that the training she's mentioning about provides such opportunities for women to thrive in science and also to thrive in their social life was something that I really admired and it gave me a firm ground to stand on in science. Recently, this scientist visited Makueni in Lower Eastern Kenya to understand how climate change is affecting smallholder farmers. 
Through discussions with over 30 farmers, they identified key challenges. These challenges were then addressed in group discussions to develop potential solutions. Through the Northsouth collaboration, we also went to Belgium, we went to the European Union Parliament, we also went to Rome uh, in FAO, where we also learned about the funding at IFAD, how they fund climate agricultural projects. And so this one really gave us the opportunity to network. The One Planet Fellowship Program aims to create a pipeline of future African science leaders in agriculture and climate change, foster a strong network of African and European scientists for collaborative research, and equip scientists to develop solutions for climate-resilient agriculture in Africa. We also found an opportunity to identify big leaders who can really help to move this climate change issue to the next stage. The fellowship has really been an eye-opener for me because first it exposed me to mentors. I've gotten a lot of experience in terms of plant building. I was able now to transfer the work that I was doing from the field now to come back to the lab to do molecular breeding. Through my mentor, Dr. Damaris Odeng, I've been now able to at least apply some things that I was not aware of in terms of QTL analysis, genomic selection, marker-assisted breeding, which is part of the skills and knowledge that you need as a PhD student to become a professional breeder. And we also had an opportunity to apply for advanced science training. So through that training, I was able to go to Montpellier in France at the IRD specifically. And during the first two weeks, we went to the science, science week, whereby we went through in-depth uh, knowledge how climate change is really affecting the world. We were able to see what the Europeans are doing about climate change. Now when I come back to Africa, I think these are things that we can incorporate in our research to mitigate the effects of climate change. And this is what I'm currently also doing as part of my work at CMIT. While we were goal setting with my mentor, I said that I wanted to be a senior research scientist. And during the goal setting, my purpose roadmap was actually to become a research associate at the beginning. And through award, the help from my mentors, I've been able to achieve that as an initial process of becoming a big research scientist one day for international research institutes. Molly often takes farmers on field visits to Calro where she educates them about drought-resistant crop varieties. Today here we are at the Simit Kiboko Climate Change Field and these are some of the sorghum varieties that we got from Eastern and Southern Africa. Uh, they are quite climate tolerant and they are also adaptable to the environment. They are also having highly nutritious trait that if farmers can adapt can really help them to cope with the climate change. The One Planet Fellowship, implemented by AWARD and Agropolis Foundation, with support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Francis BNP Paribas Foundation, the European Union, and Canada's International Development Research Center, aims to empower high potential young scientists working on agriculture and climate change adaptation and mitigation in Africa. By building their leadership, research, networking and mentoring skills, AWARD is creating a network of African-European scientists equipped to lead research that helps Africa's smallholder farmers adapt to a changing climate. Through their efforts, they are building a brighter and more sustainable future for agriculture in Africa.